Welcome to a new video. In this one, we might do a scuba dive, but first, we're gonna explore this remote village here in Sempokita with my boys. Justin. Hey, ben, I'm prepared for this kind of situation. <laughs> <laughs> this is Alex Village, by the way, right? Yeah. Here. This is here. There might be a slight background ambient sound in the, in the background. <laughs> you know what ambient sound is, Philip? At least no karaoke today. <laughs> yeah, it's Monday. So we'll see. But uh, I think we're going to have a lunch over here. Explore this beautiful village. Diving. Yeah, we'll do some diving. Are oh, we doing diving? Mm. Careful with the piggy. Do you want some banana? They're so new, they still have this thing attached to the belly. Welcome to Earth. Hope you enjoy Philippines. But we love my boys. Very good lechon. What's the name of the mountain? Bukit. Bukit. <laughs> no, the mountain name. Bukit name. Unsa Bukit. Talins. No. Talinis. Talinis. Bukit Talinis. Bukit Talinis. <laughs> See, Alex's house is like the center of the village. All everybody comes. That's why he's got the huge first aid kits. The embassy gave it to him so he could take care of all the kids. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, you can see here. What embassy? The Phil Australian. What? Yeah. Uh, you see this one? The Australian embassy gave you this? So yeah. They gave it to the guy over yeah. here. The Australian guy, and he gave it to Alex because yeah. he takes care of everybody. Yeah. You see this one there? So if, if something happens in the village, Alex, you're the one they're going to call. Yeah. Yeah, all the little kids come here with little cuts and... Yeah. <laughs> Alex is like the guy that does everything. Yeah. <laughs> He's also going to be our guide hiking up the mountains. Yeah. That's why I have this one. The hiking one. Oh, this yeah. is a hiking kit. For the yeah. hiking kit. This Jake, the, no, 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 no. This, this is no. the house one, hiking one, everyday one, and diving one. Nice. We got oxygen in there. <laughs> no, everything <laughs> except for the oxygen. Yeah. Maybe I later. I have the pocket. All right, we got Sari Sari. Mayan Budak. What do you call your village, Alex? Barangay. Barangay Mayung Tubig. Mayung Tubig. Yeah, good water. That's what I was going to say. Mayung Tubig. Good yeah. water. Yeah. That's awesome name. <laughs> yeah, Mayung Tubig is a good water. That's awesome. Here, you can see the sun right here. The water here is unlimited. <laughs> Guys, like, that has to be the coolest. Barangay name I've ever heard. Mayun Tupic. Yeah. I love it. Ooh. What are we cooking here? Pork. Pork. With some fish also. Nice. You see the, you see the firewood? Coconut? Oh yeah. Look at that guys. Coconuts. Bye boy. <laughs> Sorry, bye boy. Rest in pepperoni. Yeah, the water is like nothing to stop. Just let it go. But do you drink it? <laughs> yeah, you have to make it filter first. Filter first, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because there's a lot of people now living in the in the uh, river. The source. The yeah. source. That's why uh, we had to do the filter right. before we can do, make a drink. Still clean though. Yeah, it's only yeah. clean, but make sure we don't know. We don't know about yeah, thinking yeah, the cooking inside. Somebody mm -hmm. like that, yeah. Gotta be careful. Yeah. This is big now. Yeah. Big farm. Yeah. That's it. Oh, there's my boy. Yeah. SSP. Yeah. Baby Manox. Hello. Hello. Wow, look at this operation. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. 
lots of salad, so veggies. I, I love this heat, guys. We're walking through this small remote village with our homies. <laughs> Always surrounded by kids. And uh, we're gonna do a quick dive before lunch because it's blazing hot. And you know me, there's no better thing than to dip in the water at 12 p.m. It's a bit narrow here. Yeah. I like the broken walls. <laughs> Look at just this GoPro thing. I love it. I miss mine. It freaking, it freaking broke after a few times being in the water. Oh, it's definitely gonna break. I love this. I love this so much. The sound and the smell of the ocean. Whoa. The noise. I love it. All right, we're gonna gear up now, but you can see the entry to the ocean is gonna be a bit tricky. There's a lot of stones and rocks. So we'll be extra careful. See what we find here. I think we're gonna try to find candy crabs. Candy crabs. What do we see on this dive? A lot of rare crabs and shrimp. Your candy crabs, this is where I was planning on finding yeah. them. Yeah. So if you want, we can practice uh, filming those. Sure. It's perfect. But also, these guys that live here told me it's tiger shrimp season. Ooh. And I've never filmed one, so I really want to. They're so tiny, though, I've never seen this. We'll see. It's going to be our goal today tiger Horrible shrimp. Entry, though. Yeah. All right, let's gear up. It's a bit wavy out there, so we want to go in as soon as possible. <laughs> jump into the ocean and let me just show you how the dive side look at first sight if you're diving here and you look at the bottom and you see what you see you probably think what the hell are we doing here what is this it's just like mud gray sand there's nothing there but this bottom floor is actually full of nutrition and if you have a magnifying glass peeking at the bottom you'll see creatures at the tiniest tiniest sizes living there so this is one of the reasons I love Darwin and diving here because you never know what you can find on each step. And I keep repeating it, we've done over 40 dives or something now and we've seen new species for every single dive. And my favorite ones by far as of this moment are the nudibranchs. They look like weird worms, but in uh, such a crazy shapes, awesome looking colors. And there are thousands of them here in the Philippines. So you're always surprised on each and every single one you spot. Like this one with the gorgeous looking blue, yellowish dots and the reddish rhinophores. That's the two sticking horns in front of his face. Well, not really in the face, but they do sometimes have eyes. They mostly smell or they just slither around the bottom until they find their source of food or their mate. And if you didn't know, Philippines has the recorded most amount of species of nudibranchs in the world. More than double the next country. And I don't think I filmed the clownfish or Nemo for quite some time, but if you look on the side of the anemone, sometimes you see like a reddish spot. And here we got the Nemo X or clownfish X. If you saw my previous video, we were able to see clown necks with two black dots. Those are the eyes of the Nemos. So these ones were quite new. And here you can see the clownfish swimming above them, kind of nourishing them, which give the eggs some uh, oxygen, I believe. It's always awesome to see how the marine creatures, they adapt and they blend with the environment, like the shrimp. From distance, there's no way you can see this guy. So what we have to do is we swim up to some of the corals and we scan through all of them until we find something. Like this crino shrimp, the most common ones are the black and white, but on this yellow feather star, I decided to look inside and we found a yellowish crino shrimp. I haven't seen that one before. 
A lot of the common reef fish we see around are the gopies and eels. Just make sure you don't put your finger close to these guys. And one of the most common nudibranchs we spotted so far is the Joruna fumbris. Joruna fumbris. <laughs> the scientific name. Some people call these the pandas as well. There's a few native branks we started to skip filming and I'm pretty sure this one might drop out of the video soon because we've seen them so many times. But still, really beautiful one and we've seen them in many different sizes. And this type of native branch is called Nemo Brother and it's the first one for me as well. And most of the time you spot them, they're usually searching for something. But on this clip, we actually see him munching on probably one of his favorite foods. And for the next critter, we got the gorgeous looking seahorse. This is not the same type from a previous video where we got the thorny seahorse. Because on this one, first, he doesn't have the thorns. Second, his nose is kind of short. So we believe it's the short snouted seahorse. Another reason why I love these guys, well, they're absolutely gorgeous. They're so cute, hanging onto their dear lives on a coral waiting for the food to drift by and once again just make sure you guys if you film them don't have your lights turn on to maximum and try to aim it at the top of them so you're not hitting their eyes Here's one of my favorite crabs. This one is called Decorator Crab. He gets the name literally by decorating his head or his body. What he actually does is he picks up live anemones, live grass and sticks it onto his back. And here he has a uh, seagrass. No, sorry, that's a seaweed. <laughs> and it seems like he has stuck it right onto his nose. <laughs> Such a funny little guy. And then he walks onto this uh, bush or whatever, attaches onto it and keeps on bouncing back and forward in the current. But definitely the coolest find of the day was the blue ribbon eel. And uh, we had just been talking about it, me and Justin, that we really wanted to find one. And when I saw him, I kind of freaked out. But we also got to make sure that these eels, they live in these holes. And if we shoot the light at them, they might just go down and stay there forever. Or at least until we go away. So this one was really cooperative and we're able to shine light on him. And he seemed to didn't mind at all. They come in different shapes and colors, but this one is my favorite, the blue one, mixed with a little bit of yellowish, and the really unique ones because they got this weird looking thing on front of their nose. Don't know really how to describe it or what it's called. I know the cool reason why they're so awesome is they're just weird. <laughs> And it's funny to see weird things underwater. We never see this in our daily lives. And that's one of the reasons I love underwater. There are so many strange things down there. And it's just right at our doorstep, guys. last critter of the day is the Donald Duck Shrimp. We managed to see one previously in Malatapai, but I didn't get a good footage. And it's difficult to film these guys sometimes. They like to really hide, get shy away from the light like any shrimp. So yeah, we got a pretty decent shot of them. Oh, 
how difficult it was to get into shore with the heavy equipment. Ow! Rock slammed into my ankle. And the camera gear. Woo! You guys think there's like a rave over here? Or do you think it's 75 year old grandmas listening to this? This is 75 year old grandmas playing bingo with that music in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I just I <laughs> I wonder if my what my grandma would be doing at this music is on 24 7 She's my grandma's never even heard of this music only Philippines and there's four or five Tina's there 70s probably dude, dude I walked up to her and I said hello and it was her turn so she didn't even look up she's like playing bingo or whatever they're doing and like five minutes later she's like ah they're so serious. <laughs> Put this in the background. <laughs> very, very local life here. <laughs> oh, we're here. We're here. Where's Sherlyn? Hey, guys. Oh, this is what we call luxury. <laughs> Village life. Yes. Ooh. You wanna smell me? Look at the electric fan. Oh, oh. Thank you. <laughs> that's the luxury. <laughs> that's why. You don't know why she's staying with <laughs> That's why I sleep here. Even a pillow. Of wow. course. Oh, look at chicken. <laughs> like, I need some what food. was that? <laughs> I was going to say latto, but the, the latto has the bubbles. Yeah. Kangkong. Kangkong. I like latto, Alex. Yeah. The bottle one? Yeah. You got to put it into a vinegar. And catch it fresh. It's like seaweed, yeah? Yeah. Sometimes I uh, free dive, go down and get it. And, uh, salty? Salty, yes, but still tasty. I like it. It's supposed to be super good for you. Like, oh, yeah. Really good. Salad. You just have to mix this one. Yeah. These are my two favorites. Yeah. Fish and spicy sauce. Just this favorite, I know. This one. <laughs> wow, it's spicy. Yeah. Woo! yeah. I put way too much on my. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I love it. I like the spicy. <laughs> Woo! Let's eat. A bit. Wow! Oh my God. Rice is life, Alex. Yeah. Without rice, what do we do? <laughs> what can we do? Yeah. <laughs> Cannot escape with the rice. Come on, guys. Yeah. Eat up. Come on, guys.